hello all making this video after a long time uh, i'll be consistent from here on so in this video we are going to see how to create an validation rule within the flow itself so whenever uh, our criteria match it has to display an error uh, on the screen for the user but uh, it has to be from the flow not from the application so let's see how can we build that so our requirement is when the case status is working the internal commands cannot be blank i am in my salesforce application so on this case record when the status is working they cannot leave this internal commands blank so as of now it's blank and it will allow our users to save it but we are going to build an automation with the flow to show an error when they are saving without the internal commands the status is working let's see i'm in my flows home page so let's create a new flow click on new flow and select the record triggered flow so select the object here in our case it's going to be case and uh, it should be at the time it's updated and we can add our entry conditions here itself it's a straightforward uh, validation error right so i'm just adding it directly here on the entry conditions so status is sorry status equals working and uh, internal commands equals blank you can leave us and it, we can make, make it as a before save flow fast field updates uh, all right so come over here and add this new element custom error so here give the label say error and enter your error message as we can do in the validation rule right so you can show it in the window or you can show in the inline error on the field so i can choose this field here i'm going to select internal commands yep i think that's it let's save this flow And what's the warning? Comments we can I think it should be fine. Let's see. Activate it and test it. Got it. It's activated. Let's go back to our Salesforce case record. And here the status is working. And internal comments is blank. So if I'm trying to save it without the internal comments it should display like this so yeah instead of using the validation rule we just add our uh, flow and uh, displaying this error message here this is the error message we entered and we wanted to display on this internal comments field everything is working it's not really needed to be like this you know uh, you can have a decision element within the flow somewhere and you can add your entry condition saying okay so the case status is working and the internal comments is blank then you can just uh, connect this element to the custom error or you can uh, enter your own custom error so let me see if i'm ending this so let's see uh, you can uh, just display the custom error for this particular element uh, decision element so when it matches this condition it can just uh, show the users with this error message. Uh, yeah, you can use it in uh, in a different ways uh, using this flow. Mm, let me know how are you utilizing this because it's not a recent uh, thing. Uh, I think it came uh, one release earlier. So yeah, 
probably you might have already using this one but just wanted to show the others if at all they are not aware of this uh yep that's it for this video see you guys in the next video bye bye